Good morning and welcome back to Inside RG. I'm Paul from the Heathrow branch. This is just a quick introduction video to a virtual viewing one of our vendors has done on their gorgeous period house out in Five Ashes. It's a five bedroom, four reception room, nearly 2,800 square foot home with 150 foot rear garden and gorgeous views. On the market for 550,000. It's empty, it's vacant, they've moved already. It's waiting for the new owner to move straight in. If you're interested or want further information, please do contact us. Here's a video. Enjoy. Welcome to Armwood Farm. My name's Mark. Me and my wife and our family are the current owners of Armwood Farm. We have moved out as we have built our own ideal home in the middle of farmland. We purchased the house back in 2010 where the two families merged together. So we needed a large house which was had plenty of bedrooms so all the children can have their own bedrooms. As we walk in, uh, we have a hallway. Off of the hallway, we have a downstairs toilet and shower room. To the left of that, we have what was my office from working from home a lot of the time. It was more than ample as a downstairs office. We go along the corridor, which is a lounge in front of us. To the left, is a playroom which we used to use as a gym if i go back out we have a utility area down on the right hand side with a feature brick wall which we've always kept we try to keep as many features to the house as possible original but we have done extensive work to the house and fully insulated the house to make it a lot warmer and a lot more cozy yeah, built in white cooler and originally we would have the washing machine and tumble dryer there. Another thing we fell in love with with the house was the dining room. It's a large dining room. We fitted a eight seat oak table in here. It's more than large enough. And we fell in love with the parquet floor. So it also has radiator heating, but also has a open fire. We remodeled the kitchen in 2014 and we had the kitchen completely refitted. It has got a porcelain floor which is heated, so it's a nice warm floor on your feet and it is electric heating on the floor. It has all soft clothed drawers and hidden drawers in places. You have the exit to the garden which is a large sized door for getting anything in that you need to get in and out of the house. You have a dishwasher, a combi microwave oven, and a new oven, so they're all four years old, and a new ceramic hob and extractor. We then come into the lounge, which can be entered in via the kitchen or via the hallway. So there's a log burner there, with a radiator, and swing round, there's a large lounge. Another reason we purchased the house was because of the lovely stone wall that's on there. There is a safe on the wall. Uh, we've never managed to get it open. Uh, so hopefully the new occupier may look inside and see what secrets are hidden inside the thing. The wall is in excess of 100 years old. We have all beams, which are the original features of the house. Some are new, some are old. We then come up the stairs. At the top of the stairs, we have a storage area in the eaves, which is very good. My wife loved that. She could store everything in there without having to go into the loft. We built an extension back in 2015, and this was a new master bedroom with a dressing room. And a ensuite. From this bedroom you can see the gardens and you can also on a nice clear day unlike today you can see Mayfield Church. The garden extends about 150 foot. If we come back on, onto the landing 
is the first of three bedrooms, which are nearly all the same size, give or take a few inches. The house at the moment is unoccupied as we've moved out because we've built a new house on farmland. This used to be the old bedroom. This is bedroom number five, which has built-in wardrobes. It's a large bedroom. You have access to the loft, which has all been boarded out. So it's a very large loft. And then we have the main family bathroom, which is a large size. Go back down the landing. So upstairs you have five bedrooms. And back into the kitchen. Go outside into the garden. You have a large courtyard garden. You have a garage, which is large enough to fit a car and still work behind it, with a up and over electric door, which is controlled by a remote control. So when you come back, you can open the door with a remote control and it opens for you. The driveway and the Dove Coop are also part of the Armwood farmhouse, uh, but the neighbour does have access over the driveway to be able to get onto his land as well. This is the old sign for Armwood Farm. If we go back out, the garden extends down and then it wraps around. The garden has lovely views and it goes around the neighbour's house. So the garden extends to quite a large size with exceptional views of the countryside. The back of the house, you can see the extension. The house is adjoined to the Oast, which is the neighbour's house. And then back up. Heat into the house is provided by air source heat pump. We don't have to have oil, it's all electric, and it is the most efficient way to heat the house. And it is super green. So we changed that back in 2012. And then we come back into the kitchen where I shall end the tour, and hopefully you like what you see. All right, thank you very much, bye.